Deja's haircut is what every middle-aged woman asks their bikini waxer for. <laughs> Have you ever tried having a conversation with Geezer without him talking about being in a band? All above me? More like all about me. Thankfully, Geezer's birthdays are super easy. All you have to do is buy Hot Topic gift cards. I feel bad for Geezer sometimes. His best party trick is making motorbike noises with his mouth. Geezer told me that he lost seven pounds since being done touring. All it took was one day and seven packs of Metamucil. The real savior in Geezer's life. You are literally the guy that has it all. I mean, you literally have it all. Well, except for love, respect, and a Grammy. Okay, Geezer, I'm gonna do an impression and I want you to guess who I'm being right now. Oh my God, Jasper. This is, this is the best puppy in the entire world. Best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, bananas, oh man, I love bananas. God, I wish I could have more bananas. God, they're the best thing I've ever had in my entire life. Oh, that's the best banana I've ever had. <gasps> keys! Oh my gosh, these are my favorite keys. God, I love these keys. Oh, the paper. Look, it's got, it's got it's flat, it's got two sides, it's got lines on it. Oh my gosh, this is the best. Ooh, yeah, I love the orange stuff. <laughs> Happy birthday, Gager. I don't care what anybody says about you. We all like you. According to that time, you decided to make me feel like crap and told me last year that you already turned 30 that means you're 31 today. You don't look a day over 19, and you don't act a day older than your son. In fact, you have a lot in common with your son. Not just likes and dislikes, but also knowledge and maturity. You are like a sister to me, except that my own sisters are more manly than you. You are incredibly driven, caring, and kind to everyone who encounters you. Unless they insult your band or bandmates, or they honk at you unnecessarily. Happy 31st birthday, you geezer. All right, so I thought I'd get us all warmed up with a couple of classic Yo Mama jokes, so here we go. Yo Mama's so fat, she fell in love and broke it. Yo Mama's so fat, she got baptized at SeaWorld. Yo Mama's so stupid, she brought a spoon to the Super Bowl. Yo Mama's so old that I slapped her in the back and her boobs fell off. So, what can you say? about a man who is admired, revered, and loved by everyone. Well, I can start by saying that's not the man we're honoring tonight. Geezer doesn't know the meaning of fear, but then again, he doesn't know the meaning of most words. Uh, we all know that Geezer is not much of a, a cook in the kitchen, so whenever he's making dinner, you better pray after you eat. And Geezer also loves dogs, um, and in some ways, he's a lot like them. Uh, he's very protective of those that he loves. He's always ready to eat, and he will pee any time, any place, even out of a moving vehicle. And when he sees something that he wants, he will go for it, and he'll go after it. Um, he'll chase it. And sometimes that leads to great things, and other times it leads to gaining 10 pounds in two weeks. If you don't know Gijer, he's a real coconut. He's brown on the outside and white on the inside. Though for Gijer, instead of coconut, I prefer to use the term Oreo because he also likes to wear his brand all over himself. But don't let his tan skin fool you. Inside, he's so white, he makes Michael Jackson look black. You know, for someone who's forgotten he's Latino, he sure does love to claim he's Mexican a lot. I think it's probably because Gijer loves the United States. Like, he will not stop talking about it. So I was really happy to hear that after much hard work, he finally got an extraordinary individual visa. I have no idea what that is. But I do know that he can freely tour all over Piss Ass Nowhere USA. No, Gijer, honestly, in all seriousness, I really like your band's policy about not turning down any gigs, no matter how small, how far, or how little they pay you. I guess it really is true that the Mexican immigrants end up doing the jobs that nobody else wants to do. So Gijer. You're 30 already. When are you gonna stop wearing black clothes? You really look like the first half of a commercial for antidepressants. Gijo's been wearing the same outfits for almost two decades. He did try to change his style once, but unfortunately he bailed halfway through, and that's why he wears all those cut off sleeveless vests. But I guess wearing black really is better than his head to toe camo face. When, when we were little, my dad would take us to an army supply store to buy clothes. Gijer went in looking for camouflage underwear. He didn't see any. 
You want to know why people love camouflage jokes much? Because they never see them coming. Anyway, enough bad jokes. Let's get back to the roast. I wrote a little poem for you. And it goes like this. Gijo loves bikes, quads, dirt bikes, race bikes, even things that rhyme with bike. Like his stage mic. Mangoes that are ripe. Wearing his hair spiked. Jacob Hogart, Pierre Bouvier, and Derek Weebly alike. Okay, Dr. Seuss, we get the point. Gideon loves bikes so much that he started dirt bike racing. And he was actually really good. Honestly, when I went to your races, I remember thinking to myself that your tricks really were the best you could do. Watching your dirt bike races showed me the kind of man you can be. A man that's really unafraid to rise three inches above his challenges, kick up dust about things that matter, like who's allowed to come to Christmas dinner, the quantity of boldness one needs from the Holy Spirit, or what type of jokes are allowed in the family chat. I tried to come up with other jokes about motocross racers, but then I realized, you're it. You motocross racing, that's the joke. I have traveled many miles to seek you, O oh wise one. Many have told me of Gijer, the one whose words and advice can change the world. Are you Gijer? I have come to ask, will you share with me some of the wise words you have spoken during your life. Tell me, what is the secret to finding rest? Who is Gija? Tell me. How can I celebrate my life achievements? Who is Gijer? Tell me, how can I better identify with nature? Tell me, where do you go for your wisdom? Who is Gijer? Tell me, how can I support my local economy and community during a crisis? Is there a place to eat that you recommend? Who is Gijer? Tell us, how did you surround yourself with the wisest teachers and students in the land? Who is Gijer? Thank you, O oh Gijer. Your wisdom is overwhelming. Mm. How, how was it? Oh, it was amazing. Let me talk to you. <gasps> I've, I've, there's, there's just so many things I love about Gijer. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah it was amazing. How, I, how, tell me. I do, I love him. I love whenever I am with him, whenever I'm in his presence, whether it's at a mountaintop or at any kind of gathering. I just, I love talking to him. 
Yeah. He's so interesting to talk yeah. to. He has so many great stories. Yes. He can captivate a room with his energy mm -hmm. and his passion. And it's true. I love that. I love what, whenever I'm around him, I'm having fun. I'm having a good That's time. That's true. He's always having fun. You, have you laughing. Met, la he's laughing. laughing. He's making jokes. Oh, he's playing with kids. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. How about, have you met him before? Oh, yes. I've met him. So actually, I packed like granola bars and fruit to take my kids to the mall to all the free activities. Yes. But no, he's like buying hot dogs for everyone, tickets for everyone to go to the arcades. It's like, he's like fun. He's you know? fun. Yeah. You're even more fun than... Oh, yeah. He's even more fun than me. And so he's like... Woo! You know, like quad kind of uncle, and like yeah. yeah, so fun. He's so fun. So fun. He's I, so disciplined. He's so disciplined. So disciplined. He he he's so organized. Since he was a teenager, you know, his room is clean, organized, in bed by nine. It's Same incredible. Like, amazing. I also have experienced. He is an amazing teacher. Yeah. I've only had a few guitar lessons with him so far. He's great. But he's amazing. Yeah. Great communicator. He's a leader. He's a leader. An incredible leader. He, if he has a vision, within minutes there'll be several a lineup behind him of people ready to follow him. Yeah. He has a gift of leadership. And here's my favorite one. He follows the Bible. The story of the persistent widow in particular. He will tell you and tell you and tell you and tell you and ask you and ask you until until he gets it. He gets it. He gets what he needs. It's we, amazing. I just I love I love him. Yeah. I do love him. I love him too. I love him too. One of the best parts of this has been teaching you English. Simple, simple terms like hello, not yellow. Uh, have a nice day, not have a nice day. Um, uh, good to meet you, not go report me to Border Patrol. Uh, sort of like a lot of our stories, we went out for a night of fun and it had a few drinks and at the end of the night we were coming home, we got up to your house, you decided that you were gonna try and jump over that massive bush in front of your parents' house. I remember you getting up, running as super, as hard as you could at the bush and running basically straight into it and I don't even know if you jumped off the ground and the next day you called us and you were like, oh my goodness, my dad's so mad because somebody ruined his bush last night and we were kind of like, yeah, yeah, that was you, you jumped into the bush.